This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 252 for Wednesday, November 29th, 2017. This is Brian. And this is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. You know, it's so fun that even after all these years, I can still totally mess with you last minute. Hey, Lisa. What? I don't want to do this. You don't want to do this? <laughs> what did you don't like this one? What did the thesaurus eat for breakfast? I have no idea. A cinnamon roll. Synonym roll. <laughs> it helps if you get it right. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, that was that was a, a uh, submission from the uh, the peanut gallery. So, okay. I like that one. I think I like cashews a, a, better. <laughs> a, a, a synonym roll. Synonym roll. Okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Here we are. Help me, people. Help me. Um, we got some cool stuff to talk about this week. We do. Uh, new and stuff that's in. I think I want one. You say that all the time. Well, when we get there, I'm going to let you know. I think I want one. So jump in there. Well, can I say the same thing and then we'll just pick? No, because mine are always cheaper than yours. All right, go. Uh, brand new this week, Twisby Eco T in blue. You know... I love Twisby in general. Um, I haven't been quite as fond of some of the Ecos. Like, I, I'm just not a big neon fan. Yeah, I'm not either. So that neon green was bright. It was bright, yeah. <laughs> this blue This is a is gray, cool. gray color. I thought the, the turquoise was a little... I don't, the turquoise didn't talk to me, which is unusual because I usually like turquoise. But this blue, does it make my eyes look blue? Well, your eyes are more... Green, but tealish. Anyway, I like the blue. I nice think, color. I think they did a good job. Um, eco T. People are going to ask immediately, what's the difference between Eco T? Um, a letter. Yes, and a, dash. A, a dash, dash, and a letter. <laughs> um, We're in fine form today, folks. Grip section is just ever so slightly tapered, contoured, uh, leaning more toward a, a triangular grip, sort of like a, a Lamy Safari. Right. It's it's almost imperceptible. It really is. I, I don't I don't notice that much of a difference. Just a hair. Just a Just hair. A and hair. if you look at it, you can see where it is sculpted toward yes. the top. Which which is very cool. Um, Twisby said that they had gotten some requests for something that was uh, a little bit more geared toward people learning how to use fountain pens, learning how to write cursive, and so this helps you just like the Lamy does grip the pen properly. I actually hold mine a little further back, so. Yeah. And the cap is also a little more triangular in shape. Yeah, it's, oh, it is. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually held one. Don't make me stab you with it. <laughs> so these are cool. I like them. Um, my first question to Philip Wang of Twisby was, oh, my God, does that mean the Ecos are going away? The answer is no. So the Ecos will be a separate line. The Eco T will be a separate line. Uh, the Eco T will have other colors coming. This is limited. This blue is limited, so if you like it, grab it. It will go quickly, as with all of the Eco, uh, all of the um, Twisby limiteds. But yeah, that's a pretty blue. I I like that, but that's not the one I'm in love with. You're in love with the next one. No, <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> go ahead. Aurora 88 Flex, chrome and gold and gold. So this guy here is awesome. This is a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of awesomeness right well, here. I like the other one better. You know how much I like um, overlays. Um, you also like ink windows. I do like ink windows. Uh, this, chrome and gold. See that, this I like. Yeah. I don't know why, because we have a lot of other pens that are similar to that. Piston filler, of course, uh, being an, essentially it's, a, it's on the 88 platform. Um, it's piston a filler, hand. 88 flex nib, and they're fairly light. They are. They are. They are not as heavy as I thought. They are, um, as with the 88s, uh, a little fat, a little too fat for me. So you should be grateful. Yeah, it's 88 has always been a very light pen. I think it's one of the lightest pens they have, um, but uh, it's a nice pen. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm sure Jason's gonna need this back for photos or something. No, so we have others. I will make sure that he gets that out of your pocket. Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, these are limited? Limited, yeah. So Absolutely. So grab it now, um, when they're gone, they're gone kind of thing. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, really, it's really a good-looking pen, um, you know, 188 pieces. We actually have matched 
We have numbers. matched sets. That's um, cool. So if you want one of each, we can we can match the numbers. Uh, but anyway, nice. Uh, it was kind of unexpected. It came in on Saturday, yep. and um, yeah, we didn't expect them that quickly. I don't think so. Um, Next is cool Midori sticky pads. These are cool. We have been wanting these for a while. You have some. How, I have, have one. You yeah, used I them? just I just started using them. I, I hate regular um, post-it post notes. notes. Can't stand them. My fountain pens. It's just they're too glossy. My fountain pens. They don't write. Um, and I'm always writing notes on on certain things. And uh, and finally, when when we saw, so we're gonna get these. I'm like, yeah, I have to have them because I can't stand regular post-it notes. They just don't. They don't. They work great with ballpoints and roller balls, but yes. fountain pens they don't work. These these are great. Graph, lined, blank. And Mr. Paper just did a review. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And I'm so, assuming he liked them. I'm What's assuming not to he like? did. Yeah. And I actually got his tester pad, so it's nice. Ooh. It's got a little like cover. a matchbook. It's got cover. a cover. Yeah. It's, yeah. It'll fit in your pocket if you wanted to. Well, not if you keep that pen in there. Well, I can you know get rid of a post-it note for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, two sizes though, two sizes, three yes. different uh, three different rulings. Small and large. I think the large is a little too large for me, but um, awesome. the, the small is more more like a regular post-it note size. You know, and of course they're adhesive, so they stick. Yes, very cool. So very excited to have those. You might have to share with me. You can have some. Okay. <laughs> Next is the Lamy Studio in the long-awaited racing green. I like this. Is this the one you're going to keep? Do I have, I don't think I have a studio. No, you don't. I don't. I love the green. The green it is, is great. just as pretty as I thought it would be. And I love the imperial blue. Mm -hmm. But this, they they just did a, such a great job. It's nice to have a, a different option in the yes. studio. Because right now, there's, I mean, there's a couple, and then there's a couple of uh, gold nib options. But, you know, if you want, if you don't like Blue, black, or stainless. Yeah. Your SOL. This is um, gorgeous. It's nice to have an option. Love the color. Um, steel grip section. I kind of wish they would have used maybe the black that they use on the stainless steel. Yeah. I think that would have been a really cool look. Um, Just but really pretty. It, it works. You know. Um, you know. There's no. There's no threads. It's a slip cap, so yep. it doesn't. You know. It doesn't it get in the way. Click noise. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous pen. I love it. I'm so excited. And that's maybe maybe one of the best clips in the business, I, I really think. It's so easy to... Here, why don't you to, try that in your pocket? Well, it'll match my shirt, right? Ooh. Um, you know, it slides in. It grips well. It's got that neat kind of twisted propeller clip. Um, it's an ingenious clip. It's really, yep. really nice. So. Um, <clears throat> what else? We got more paper. We got more paper. We it's love busy, paper. busy week this week. Um, Knock dot dash cards, two different sizes. We've got the little petites, which I love. These are adorable. It's tiny. It is tiny. What do you use that for? I love Brian. It's not big enough. Brian's Christmas <laughs> list. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> these are great. You just need a tiny little note. Um, these are, are these business card size? Yeah. These are business, business card, card size. size. So this is perfect. You can fit them in your pocket, in your business card case. Um, if you just need to write a, a quick note to somebody, if you're at a meeting or, or your Impromptu business card. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. The dot Getting dash, the I like. they need. And then the gigante, the giant size. Um, these are cool. These, I've, uh, Brad had given me some a long time ago. Oh, that's These right. These open. I have one on my desk somewhere. These are like a, a note card that opens. So these fold. These are fantastic. I've been using these for a long time. Um, we just got these in to carry, and uh, I really, really like them a lot. So. And it's a dot dash thing. Which yeah, is the dot dash, which is cool. It's basically a graph, but It's almost not. Less than a graph, more than a dot. It's pretty good, right? All right, what else? Ink, that's all you Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you. So excited. The restock of our Blackstone inks plus all the new scented inks. So we've got uh, in, in new colors. You've got the brown. I'm going to mess up the name. The brown baronia. Blue gum is a nice looking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let me just lay these out like a deck of cards. Australian bush, gorgeous green. Blue cypress which is a little more teal, I think. 
than the blue gum. Seems pretty, pretty They're close, close but yeah. I think the blue cypress is a little more teal. Um, the Kunzia red, nice brick red. And this one everybody's going crazy for, wild orange. Super pretty. It's nice and cold. Yeah, with winter coming, I'm I had getting to have an, If I had to have an orange, that would be That's a pretty cool color. List, I think. Uh, so we're super excited to have those in. Uh, we've been waiting a while, and uh, the new colors do not disappoint. Check it out. What else? Uh, Schaefer Preludes. Um, kind of like one of these. Yeah, I figured you would. Schaefer is kind of scaled back some of their stuff, but they, they, they've been bringing out new Preludes the last, uh, last two years. And I think they're I think they're they're good solid additions to the lineup. Most of the other Schaefer lines have been kind of stagnant, but these are pretty nice. So we've got. Um, I like this one. We've got a brushed copper. A really interesting color. I was actually impressed when our um, Schaefer rep came to see us, and she had these. Um, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, like, it's, it's, I, I like copper. I like brushed metal. Mm -hmm. I like that it's brushed and not shiny. So it's got just a, enough texture. It's got some texture, yeah. That it's not slippery. You know, and, and being being a Schaefer, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Yes. It's got I that like brass that barrel. It has the dark trim. The one that I'm excited about is um, the gunmetal gray, that which can be is your nice. Christmas present. That's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I've already got Christmas presents lined up. I don't right. want to push anything back. Um, this is nice. It's 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 a matte, a uh, little bit of a texture on it. Um, you know, of course, the 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 Schaefer, the Prelude also has that 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 triangular shaped grip to uh, this. Yeah. Also has with little road bumps. Yep, the the little dark speed bumps. the dark nib on it, um, steel nib. It's a good looking pen. It's it's. Uh, it reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, all the other stealth pens that are out there. The Pro Gear Imperial Black, which is kind of a matte sailor. I mean, it's, it's, they're not in the same category, but looks-wise, it's, 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 it's right up there. Same thing with the Pilot Vanishing Point. You've got the gunmetal. Yeah, and this is, this is just a, it's a, it's a, it's a dark gray. It's not necessarily a, a, a flat black. It's more of a dark gray, um, and it looks good with that. that, uh, that dark trim. Dark trim. Yeah. Um, Good, good, solid additions. It goes nice with the the dark black, the shiny black with the black trim that they came out with last year. Yes. Um, and the the brushed uh, goes well with the blue and rose gold. So you've got you know kind of a, some rose gold options, um, and some dark options and preludes. And they're a good size. A nice pen. Okay. I like I like shapers. I do. Cool. So. What's next? What's, I'd ask you what's in your pocket, but you don't have any pockets, so. Uh, on my desk is. <laughs> uh, PG-13, wanted... please. That was PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you PG, I'll show you R later. Um, in my pocket, I don't have pockets, but on my desk, um, I'm really into my vanishing points right now. Okay. Where we just finished Thanksgiving which means end of the year for retail. I'm getting into end of year inventory and a whole lot of checklists. And um, the vanishing points are perfect. You just click it and write, click it and stop writing. Click yeah, it. I was using using vanishing point this past weekend. Um, I, I normally only use them at pen shows. I don't usually nor use them any other time of the year, but... Uh, well, so don't look for your rodents because I'm using them. You are not using I'm not. them. I have, I'm using my copper. I have one at home and I have the others with me, so. Using the copper, the limited edition? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because... Serial number 149? Yes. Because I don't have my Christmas and New Year's pens yet. Yep. So excited. You Two have to wait. limited edition vanishing points. We talked about them. Which, which one is Christmas? You, you tell me. The light blue. The ice blue. <laughs> Although I like the orange crush. All right. So anyway. You actually got any... You can put wild orange in your orange <gasps> crush? I could. I could. I got to figure out what to put in the ice blue. All right. So you anyway. still haven't filled my filled my purple cosmos yet. You know, if you don't fill it within the week, I'm taking it away. You are not no. taking it away. No. All right. So, what's in your pocket? Uh, this week, uh, well, today to match my green shirt, I uh, I've been using the um, I inked up the mosaic Sailor Mosaic King of Pen in green. 
God, that's pretty. Uh, it's a nice, nice color. I really, really enjoy it. What did you put in it? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, there was black in there, and then yesterday I refilled the cartridge. I, we had some Visconti sepia that was just kind of lying around, so I just kind of... Um, How do we have ink just Oh, no, that's, that's no, that was a different pen. Uh, no, I think this is just... Black? I don't know what's in here. What's in here? <laughs> oh, Yamadori. Yeah, yeah, this pen, okay. this pen gets Yamadori. Okay. Do we need a spreadsheet for that? See, that's why I only have, like... I got two blues, two blacks, a green, a brown. Burgundy. A burgundy. I keep them simple. If I have more... Then it gets complicated. Then it gets complicated. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. That's so, fair. Yeah, Yamadori, yeah. Yamadori okay. always goes in this pen. I thought I'm really thinking about my Sailor Fram Frambois. It's such a cool color. You just like saying Frambois. I like mangling it. Yeah. You so. want to mangle it, it's Framboise. Like Illinois? Yes. Okay. All right. Keep going. Uh, anniversary winner? Very cool. Do Number you have a drum wall for this? No, I'm not allowed to make noise, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I clink my rings and things during the uh, podcast, so I'm not allowed to make any noise today. <clears throat> I'm trying to be really good. It's very difficult. Um, Jason will put a drum wall in. There you go. Uh, first of all, thanks to Universal Luxury Brands, the new Lamy <laughs> distributor for um, helping us out with our anniversary um, prize. And the big winner is... Will's mom. I know Will. I don't know about Will's mom, but... Okay. Will's mom on Instagram. Uh, we'll be contacting you regarding your, uh, your Lamy, and we'll get that out to you. Uh, probably, probably ship it out tomorrow. What a great gift, though. That is a great Lamy gift. Lamy 2000? Yep. So we'll get that out for you. That'll be your, your Christmas present. You have one, right? From us? Yes, I do. I do have what one. What nib do you have? I have an oblique broad. Oh. It's the worst possible nib for, for you. For me, yeah. Yes, that's why I got it. Um, that's harsh. Well, you know. Apparently we don't share. She right. always says, oh, well, we'll share this pen. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let I you know, it. if your spouse collects, you don't share. Yeah, it you doesn't share. work because it's always in rotation and you never get it. Right. All right. So just get two. Um, so congratulations. Uh, we'll get that out to you. Uh, we'll be in touch and, and get your address and we'll ship it out. Thanks to everybody for participating. Cool. And some of you guys had some really awesome comments and, and notes and, and thank you. I know four years isn't a long time in the global history of the world or the universe or the cosmos or whatever. but For a pen store, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So. Yeah. Um, speaking of pen store, uh, last week was Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Small, Small Business, Business Saturday, Saturday Cyber, Cyber Monday. Monday. What is Tuesday? Tuesday was Recover Day. Something. They got a they got a name for every day of the the week after Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, Thanksgiving, of course, we were closed uh, at our house. We did a modified keto Thanksgiving, which means everybody cheated. Um, yes. We're still recovering. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Pie. Yes. I made, I, she, oh, we'll just, we only need three or four potatoes. No, we got like Six, half a dozen. Six, seven, eight, yeah. yeah, so. So I had one bite of mashed potatoes. I was very proud of myself. Uh, over the course of the long weekend, I had two pieces of apple pie. Yeah, well, you got to get pie. You got to get you know, rid of The pie was on sale. The big pie was on sale. It was only <laughs> 70 cents more than the small pie. You so. and Eric split a pumpkin pie. Well, you I had just, you had a piece. Did I? Yes, okay. you did. That was I the same day. three pieces of pie? Yes. Holy One day you had cow. two, so. Wait, just to it. remind you, anyway. I'm just saying. <laughs> How are those mashed potatoes there, <laughs> They're awesome. Card man? They were awesome. All right. Um, so anyway, that was, that was great. Thanksgiving was, was good. Uh, our Lindsay came over. Garrett was there. Uh, Lindsay was there for 12 minutes. Um, but anyway. <laughs> well, we had a little drama, though, because Wednesday night, um, oh, yes. I was making something Wednesday night. Oh, meatballs. Dinner. Just dinner. And our stove started to die. So, of course, there was a little panic involved. Oh, my God, what if the oven dies? It's Wednesday a ten, night? It's a $10 part that you can't get because even the manufacturer can't identify the model number on their website. So, Even though, you know, Wednesday night would have been fine, we could have done whatever for dinner, I was panicking a little bit about 
Thanksgiving with the turkeys. We do turkey breasts and we had two of them. So we decided we were just going to break into Kim's house and use her oven because she was going to be gone. So we had a backup plan, but everything worked out fine. Um, I think that was probably the most exciting part of Thursday. I was just happy. I never heard that beeping, so. Oh, my God. And then uh, Black Friday was um, good at the store. Uh, downtown doesn't usually get super busy in the morning. Everybody's at the big box stores, and then um, they go home and take a nap, and then they come downtown, so the afternoon is usually yeah, afternoon. a little busier. And then... Um, Small Business Saturday has always been good for us. We are, are very blessed to have a lot of people who shop local and, well, and take a lot of pride in that. The city helps. Um, they do a lot for you know, that. They, they, they sponsor that, and then they have a little contest where you go in and you go to, what is it, five different local businesses, and then you get a stamp, and then you get entered into when a, a city gift certificate. So yeah. um, they help, and, and a lot of people came out. It was very, very busy, a lot of traffic. Yes. Um, it was crazy, so. It was good. But, uh, um, and I think for the rest of the year, or th yeah, I guess th for the rest of the year, there'll be three of us on Saturdays because it's gotten to, to be too yeah, busy for. Tis, tis the season. Yes, which um, is a good thing. We have, is it next week already? Oh, my God. No, no. two weeks. Two weeks. Don't panic me. Uh, we have a special event. Speaking of uh, getting busy. busy in the store, special event for those of you who are local, even if you're not local, uh, Come, you, become you wanna, local. Uh, become you want to get here you for get this. For this. Uh, Thursday, December 16th, in the store, yes. uh, special guest John Lane, pilot, general, pilot USA general manager, is going to be here. And he's going to bring who, some crazy Who knows awesome what he's going to bring. I mean, last time he was here, we had a big, big spread. It was uh, last February. It's just been over a year now. Yep. Just to, Almost two. Yeah, yeah, pretty well a year and a half. Um, but... Yukari's, Emperor's, oh, Emperor Makie, all, all the really great Namiki. Very cool um, stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll have a big display. Uh, last time John was here, we actually inked a few of them. We dipped some. I yep. mean, these are some of them. Some of them are, are not all that expensive. Some of them yeah, are more than five, I paid for a couple of my cars. It's not much. Yeah. I know, but... I think one or two of them were more than yes. you, we paid for either yes. of our cars. Yes, which absolutely. Is, which, even if you know you're not going to buy an eighteen thousand dollar pen, you got to see it. It's cool to touch it's, it and hold it and and write with it. Yeah, definitely. If, if you can make it out, check it out. Um, John's an awesome guy, super friendly, super knowledgeable. Um, it'll be a good time. He just handed last year. He just handed me this fourteen thousand dollar owl, emperor. It says so here. Cool. It says here. Well, what? Why don't you write with it? I'm like, are you kidding me? This is a $14,000 Emperor. And he said, like, yeah, yeah, well, let's get some ink out. So we got some ink out, and I dipped it, and we wrote with it. Yeah. And It's just fun to be able yeah. to see some of this stuff that that you may never see again in person. Yeah, or, I mean. Or you've uh, never seen in our person. Pictures, our pictures online are, are really, really, really good. Yes. Um, Jason does a fantastic job, but to hold this thing in, in, in your hand is just. You're just saying that because he's right in front of us. Well, he is I'm right kidding, there, as a matter of fact. I'm but, um, no, he's uh, super awesome, but. Um, it doesn't, you know, the way the light reflects off the rod or yeah. it reflects off, you know, to, to see that owl, which is made with crushed quail eggs. And to see it up and to close. see it and hold it yeah. in your hand, it's just it's yeah. fantastic. As amazing as Jason is, there's nothing like holding this in your hand. So, so there you go. Uh, it's but both yeah. a plug for Pilot Namiki and a plug for Jason. Yes, it is. It is. Um, <laughs> So Thursday, December 16th. Uh, 11 to 4. 11 to 4, yes. I was going to say, I don't know what time it is. It's written on the sheet. 11 and to 4. Anybody who is in Appleton in the Pen Club, come by. Um, I think we're skipping Pen Club. We are. For December. Be, but be Pen Club, yeah. Because uh, unfortunately he can't make it. We can't do it later during Pen Club. But right. uh, if you're going to be in town, definitely, definitely stop by and check it out. And then our plan is to go to Lombardi's. That's our, our annual thing for dinner. So I am not eating for two days beforehand. Steak we can do. Tis, yeah, we can do steak. And veggies. Steak and veggies. No mashed potatoes. And you and John will get the uh, onion soup what and the bowl and the about? onions. It's it's talking cool. crazy talk. I know. Um, also. Speaking of Christmas. AP Santa reminder. Um, keep them coming in. AP Santa's keeping busy reading your uh, your letters. These have been fun. Uh, all entries must be received by December 11th, and we are picking the uh, the appropriate winner. Um, a couple days later, and we'll let you know. So details on the blog, AP Santa, 
Yes. Great. But we will, um, you have to send it in by the 11th so that we can ship it out to get it to you in time for Christmas. Yeah, unless you don't want it, then in which case, I'll tell you what I want and then you just put that on your list. Question of the week. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting enough I'm, for Christmas. I'm you are spoiled right, enough. I'm moving, I am not spoiled. All right, moving moving right along. along. Question of the week. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Kim does such a nice job. She has nice handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the question of the week. I'm which I'm answering this, apparently. Which Twisby pens are She's designed look, to she? post? She's and giving me the look. Is it the first look or the second look? Because, you know, really there's three looks. A woman has three looks. The first look is she's giving you the look to correct your answer, correct your response. The second look is means you're in trouble, and the third look is you need a lawyer. So <laughs> I'm guessing it was the first look. And if I don't shut up, it's going to be the second look. What's the which question? Which Twisby pens are designed to post, and which ones are not? Okay. I am a poster. I'm just going to put that out there. Confession time. I like to post my pens. Uh, if a pen doesn't post, I won't say it's non-negotiable, but it's pretty darn close. Um, so for me... Even when you're writing a short note? Well, what are you going to do with the cap? You got to yeah, hang on to it. Yeah. I'm going to write, I'm going to write, I got to write, uh, give this to Dave. But what you if you're it? holding it? So then you got to hold the cap and you're writing and then it's just complicated. Here, let, let, let me try that for you. Yeah. So uh, what See? I like Look about I the Twisby right Mini is post. that it is designed to post. The cap actually screws on so it's nice and secure and it does not interfere with the piston knob. This is great. You asked the question, you answered the question. I just sit here and I look good. <laughs> okay. How about the 580? Post or no post? The 580 is the, really the only pen in the Twisby lineup that is not designed to post. You can, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't it. recommend it. Don't it's really, it. it's super long, it posts on the piston knob, and if Which, you're one of these people that, if it's jammed down there and you twist to, to, to try to remove it, you actually operate the piston, which means you're going to have ink on your paper. Or your hand, or, or your both, hand or, or whatever. Or pen trays, which has happened before. All right, what about the Twisby Eco? Post. Post! Dun, dun, dun. And that posts nicely. I like that yeah. a lot. Um, the VAC 700R. Post. Okay. What else is there? The VAC Mini. The VAC Mini? Mm hmm Post. Screws on. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, 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 mini, the Mini's th are threaded, yes. Um, Twisby Classic, which we don't really carry anymore. Finally posts. It posts, yes. Yes. Thank God. Yes. That was awesome. Um, I sat there for two days changing out <laughs> the piston knobs on every single classic we no, had. I did a couple. You did a couple, yeah. I did. You did. So I can add that to my resume. I know. It's lengthy. Wow. Um, okay. What other Twisbees are there? The 580 AL is the same as same the 580. Same as the 580, yep, yep. So all uh, the full-size 580s, don't, don't post. Don't do it. Uh, I wouldn't. It, 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 it is. It, you can do it, but it, it's awkward. It's it's really it super makes it long. Really long. Really back heavy. Back heavy. Yeah. Um, and it posts directly on that piston knob, and and it's just an accident waiting. Yeah. The re the rest of them don't. The Ecos, the Minis, you know, they all post. Uh, Eco's got a actual O ring there that it just it slides on. And it slides over the knob, so it doesn't it doesn't affect the yes. the movement of that that piston. So there you go. There it is. All right, so to recap. I'm getting a Racing Green Studio. And I'm getting an 88. <laughs> I'm getting this bad boy right here, I think. No, I'm not getting that. Serial number 79. I don't know. I don't is know what that means. significant to it's you? You weren't born in 79. I'm just trying to just We didn't meet in 79. No. You're no. not 79. I, uh, no. Your car's not a 79. Nope. All right, so it means nothing. All right, I think that's it for this week. It is. Um, do we have anything exciting that we're anticipating? Yes, the John Lane visit. Okay. I'm anticipating that. You don't think he's leaving anything for he's you? He's going to leave stuff for me. <laughs> you, you just... John. Uh, anything else going on here? We have our... We got lots of stuff going on. Dinner, our company dinner coming up, um, which will be fun. Um, 
I guess that's all we can talk about when we're moving that's things it. around. Nothing yep. exciting. So. It's always busy. All right. That's it. I think Take that's it, it. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> you going to read the rest? <laughs> Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And a really bad joke. I think next week it's your turn. Awesome. I will come up with something fantastic. I'm sure you Please will. mail me ideas. I'm sure. uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, videos, and all sorts of other fun stuff. And follow us on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.